Hello everybody. Um, welcome to your just a little bit after midday prayer for today, Monday, September 28, 2020. I am Jeff Foxklein, uh, the Associate Pastor at Covenant Presbyterian Church in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, really glad to be able to come here today to pray with you. I am running about 20 minutes late. Uh, I am off on my study leave right now. I'm going to be doing some writing and some reading and some, uh, some thinking and some studying and some leaving. Um, but I thought I would pop in and say hi, even if it is 20 minutes late. You can wag your finger at me some other time. Um, but it is a good day. It is a new day. It is the beginning of a week, and it is a chance for us to start uh, to start fresh and to move forward together in um, in the newness of life that is uh, that is a Monday. If we can think about Mondays as fresh starts instead of just uh, something to dread, I am looking forward to this week. I am looking forward to the opportunities afforded to me to take some time to um, to uh, to grow and to continue in growth. Um, and and with that in mind, I am going to head out pretty soon to get back to that, but I did want to just pop in and say hi. And so I would love to just um, to start us with, a, with some scripture. I want to find some scripture first, though. I really, um, I really liked the scripture that we had for worship yesterday, so I'm going to pull that up right now. It is Luke chapter 4. Verses 16 through 21. Um, I think I read this the other day, too, at my last uh, live prayer, but it's so good you get to hear it twice. Um, <clears throat> so listen for the word of God. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, there was another scripture passage that I was going to read, um, that I was looking forward to reading in my sermon, uh, but unfortunately just life got in the way and, and um, the sermon went in a different direction. But, uh, but I do want to read this, this scripture passage. It's from, um, it's from John chapter 14, the Gospel of John chapter 14, verses 15 uh, through 17. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. And this is the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. So I preached a sermon on, um, on advocating. Uh, you can go back and, and watch it if you want, or if you don't want to, that's fine too. You're hearing me talk now anyways. Um, but it just, that passage, I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to think about Christ, Jesus Christ as our advocate when, when God came down among us, um, but then to be left not as orphans, but with another advocate to dwell inside us, to both um, help us, give, the strength, give us the strength to advocate for ourselves and to be infused with the Spirit of God to advocate for ourselves while also... Um, while also advocating for others. Uh, I think there's something beautiful to that. So with that being said, I am going to close this with a prayer and then head back off to my study leave. Holy and gracious God, we give thanks for this day, for the new start, for the rain that waters your creation, and for your spirit which dwells among us and abides within us. We pray for your children who, who need help who need something. We pray that they may find it, that they may find love or peace or security or food or comfort. 
we pray that they may find love and that love may be expressed in a way that builds them up, helps them, sets them on the path. Lord, we pray for all, all your children who are hurting. We pray for those who suffer with illness, those who are vulnerable to illness, particularly COVID-19. We pray for scientists who are working on vaccines, for doctors who continue to toil, for public health officials, they make hard decisions, for school teachers and school administrators and all sorts of people as we navigate these weird, strange, uncharted waters. Amen. All right, everybody, you take care. God bless. I love you. I miss you. God loves you. And I will see you all soon.